Hi, string students. Welcome back to another string lesson. I hope that you're doing well. Today I brought another one of my favorite students. This is Mr. Viola, and as you can see, he just loves to say hello. He loves instruments and he loves music. So he will be with us today for lessons. Remember, if you play the violin or viola, you want to make sure that you're reading the correct music for your lesson today. So violas, make sure you're looking at your alto clef part, and violins, you want to make sure you're looking at your treble clef part. I hope you have fun with your lesson today. You're probably wondering why I'm going pat, clap, clap, or one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, that's because today we're going to learn a new time signature. You're used to playing songs that have four beats in a measure, but today we're going to do two songs that have three beats in a measure. So this is a good way to feel that beat. If you look at the beginning of French folk song in the D major scale, you are going to see a 3-4 instead of a 4-4. Four, four. And that top three means that there are three beats in a measure, and the bottom four means that the quarter note gets the beat. Now, if you've ever seen a waltz, which is a type of dance, they use the 3-4 meter. One, two, three, one, two, three. And usually in music that has three beats in a measure, you are going to see a dotted half note. A dotted half note gets three beats of sound, so if you were to play that on your instrument, you would just hold the note out for three counts or three beats. One, two, three, one, two, three. So what we're going to do next is an exercise where you get to practice feeling that beat, and then we're going to go right into the D major scale using our dotted half notes. Get ready to pat, clap, clap. You will need your instrument for the next activity. We are now going to play the D major scale using dotted half notes. Remember, you want to count to three for each note. Great job, everybody! We are now going to learn the French folk song. The French folk song has three beats in each measure, so you will want to find this piece on your worksheet. I will play it once so that you can hear how it sounds. string students, we are going to start with the French folk song. If you look at the very first line, it's all on the A string, so that should help you out a lot. Your first three notes are Ds, so you want to put all three fingers on the A string, and you are going to play that D three times in a row because it's a repeated note. For measure two, you are going to lift your third finger up. Now we have two fingers. We are going to play the C sharp three times in a row. For measure three, you are going to play B one finger, C sharp two fingers, D three fingers, one, two, three. And then for 
by number four, you're going to lift all three fingers up, and we're going to play an open A for three counts because it's a dotted half note. One, two, three. Here's the first line. I'm putting my three fingers back on my A string for the D. down. That's a G. We're on that second line. And the second line is all on the D string, so that should help you out. So here's our G three times in a row. Measure six, you're going to lift your third finger up. Now we have two fingers, and we're going to play the F sharp three times. For measure seven, you're going to lift your second finger up, and you each have one finger left. And we're going to play the E three times. And then you're going to lift your first finger up, and you're going to play a D for three beats. One, two, three. So the second line is three, 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 two, 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 one, 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 open D. sharp two fingers. Now for measure 10 you have the same thing. D, E, F sharp. For measure 11 you have the same thing. D, E, F sharp. So I'm going to go back to measure 9 and play measures 9, 10, and 11. <laughs> out for three counts because you have another dotted half note. One, two, three. I'll do that line again. you have the same exact thing. You have E, F sharp, G. And then for measure 15, you have E, F sharp, G. So I'm going to go back to measure 13 and play you measure 13, 14, and 15, starting with my first finger, E. And then I'm going to roll my bow to the A string and play it for three counts. Line. This is measure 17. You are going to put all three fingers on the A string and we're going to do a scale pattern. So here's D, three fingers. C sharp is two. B is one. A is zero. Then you're going to roll the bow to the D string and put three fingers down for G. F sharp is two. E is one. D is none. So that was our scale. Now we have two notes left. We have an E, one finger, and a D for three beats. One, two, three. I'm going to play the last line for you, starting with all three fingers on my A string. Once you get it, you can go back and try it with the recording. Have fun! We are now going to learn the spring song. This piece has four beats per measure. I will play it once so that you can see and hear how it sounds.
hope that you've been able to go outside and enjoy some of the warm weather or at least get some fresh air. We are going to start with our spring song. This is measure one and we have our Mississippi hot dog rhythm. <laughs> First measure has open D, no fingers, then E, one finger, F sharp, two fingers, open D, no fingers. You do have to go from two fingers to no fingers there, so take note of that. Your fingerings are O, one, two, O. Then you're going to play a quarter note A, and then another A. Okay, I'm going to play measure one now. Measure two is the exact same thing except for one note. We have D, E, F sharp, D, E, A. So the E is different there. Okay, so our first note is D, no fingers. Then E, one finger. F sharp, two fingers, D, no fingers, and then an E, and then an A. O, one, two, O, one, A. Okay, here's measure one and two now. Measure three, we have half of a scale. We have D, E, F sharp, G, A, A. So let's do the D, E, F sharp, and G. Here's D. E is one finger. F sharp is two. G is three. So you're just going to walk up. O, one, two, three. I'll do it again. Then you're going to roll your bow to the A string and play two quarter note A's. Okay, here's measure three. And then measure four, we have D, E, and a half note D. And then a bow note. Okay, so we're going to go back and do measure three and four. Okay, then you're going to lift and we're going to go back and repeat the song. One really important reminder before we go. I would like to remind you that we will be collecting instruments soon, so we will need to have the cases labeled. So if you could get a head start on that, that would be great. We would need you to put your first and last name, your grade level, and the elementary school that you attend. This case says Mr. Viola, fourth grade, Polka Elementary. Now, if you don't have a piece of tape available, you can also write these things on a piece of paper and open your case up and just tuck the paper in the case and close your case back up. That will also work. So please make sure you do this this week. Hi String students! I just wanted to thank you so much for all of your hard work these past few weeks. And I also wanted to mention that if you feel like you're stuck on some of the songs still, I just want to let you know that it's okay. It's hard to learn things sometimes when we're not right in front of you helping you. So please stick with your instrument. We can definitely get you caught up when we see you again and we can get you right back on track and it'll be a lot of fun, I promise. So just keep sticking with those instruments and I will see you again next week. Take care.